All right, thanks again for tuning in. This would be part eight of Living the Isetta Dream. And if you recall from my last video, I said specifically, we'll see you the next time and the frame will be painted. Well, forget I said that. That was a big mistake. Uh, it's now 10 hours later and I'm still scraping mud and dirt uh, off the frame so I can paint it. And I did a little chain case work too. I took the, the backing plates of the brakes off so I could blast those and paint those because I only want to do it one time. And I just keep finding more and more mud. I took the inner fenders out here of the rear and I, I think I've taken 25 pounds of mud out. I've, I've emptied this thing out four or five times and I've swept the floor. Uh, I can't remember, but it's crazy. There was at least that much mud on these springs, especially this right rear, right rear wheelhouse. I don't know. I'm, I think some kids got a hold of it at one point in time and went and did donuts in the mud is what I'm guessing. <clears throat> it might explain the, um, the bent frame on the left front as well. So uh, I spent a little time taking out all these grease zerks. There's three of them here. One, um, basically, uh, let's see, that's for the center of the hub and there's two, they all help the shock basically. Um, it's kind of an elliptical thing go up and down. And I thought it'd be a good idea to take the hubs apart and re-grease them. They haven't been re-greased in 50 years. So while I have the hubs off, I'm gonna take the backing plates off because I can't clean the backs very well with them on the car. I'm gonna sandblast those and paint them up and then I can get in here and clean all this and clean all that. One thing leads to another. The frame, however, is looking pretty good. I've got it pretty clean. Of course, it's taken a lot of time, but it's looking good. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. It doesn't look flaky. It's funny, it must have had some cosmoline on there or something, because it looked really rusty, but once I kind of polished it with the uh, wire wheel, it came out really good. I'm, I'm really happy about that. So that's what's going on. Got the Zerks working on this side as well. I've got silent blocks to put in here to help uh, give it really good, sharp steering, precise steering controls. I've still got some more grease to dig out of all these little areas. But um, <clears throat> it's coming along a little slower than I thought, which is disappointing. So I spent my whole Saturday basically getting dirty, cleaning mud off the bottom of an Isetta, but that's the way it goes. <clears throat> it's going to be better in the long run. It's really nice once you get those fenders out of here. You can see all this, and I could clean the back of the engine a little bit, and I'm going to replace that link there that's all all gummed up with the shorter link from the relocation kit. And uh, there's some type of a, this is this bearing on this side does not get greased or oiled from the oil that's slung by the chain. And I've heard there's a way you can tap in here and put a grease fitting. And I'm thinking about doing that because otherwise you gotta take the, pl the plate off to pack grease in there. And that's a bummer. So I'm going to look into that as well. <clears throat> and I can't believe I can actually see in here now. There was so much crudded up grease and mud. There's still quite a bit up in there. I might power wash that. We'll see before I put the tank back in it. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a day, actually a night now. And um, probably dream about cleaning Isetas all as I'm sleeping. And uh, you should too. Thanks for turning in, tuning in, and uh, watching me clean my Isetta. You know, one of these days we'll actually go for a drive. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and uh, cheering me on. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.